Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Okay, so it's three and a half ton. I got that. It's gonna mm -hmm. save the chain. It's doing the static pressure check. Yeah. What are y'all doing? I'm uh, making videos and uh, Steve Bowman. testing filters. It's a Sandy Rifler, uh, he's American uh, Allergy Relief is his company. Oh, he's also you'll get it right. It's American Allergy Allergy Supply. American Allergy Supply. Okay. What we're doing is we're taking all the air filters on the market and testing them for wattage. Yeah, this gives you actual power consumption of the motor. And this is the very first Magna Helix that has a wattage <laughs> that tells you how many watts that motor is using. And this this, this tells you the watts. This tells you the static <laughs> and the CFM and the RPM. So yeah. it's neat to be able to see with different filters the change in the static. And then we're using the Magna Helix to prove now, that this agrees with it. Now, HISD uses this filter. And this filter uses more energy than my filter. Yeah, well, so what he wants to do is sell his so filter to HIS. And not only that, but I have here in the corner here a laser particle counter. Yeah, right here. That tells you how clean, how well, clean actually, the air with, is. With no, with no filter in like we got now, you see how high the number is. And then this we put the filter in. Yeah, watch this. Different filters, it drops more for some than so others. So I can, I, can I can tell you how clean the air is with each one of these filters. Yeah, this right. is at a half a micron. Now those particles go right here in the smallest part of your lungs, the alveoli, and stay there. So if we can get a filter that has low static pressure, costs less money, and this is a watt meter, this tells you how many how many watts the blower is using, or the, yeah. this whole air handler is the using. Whole air, yeah. So if I can tell you how many watts this unit is using, and how clean the air gets, that's an energy saving air filter. There you go. Yeah, it, it, the lower the static, the lower the, lower the, the watts, wattage. The lower the watts. Uh -huh. So if you get a if you get a good filter that cleans the air and low static across it, which is my filter, then they'll be yeah. But I'm it's testing. Actually, uh, I'm testing. I'm testing this residential. You seen these? Yeah. One inch header. I'm testing uh, all the two inch and one inch filters. I've got them all over the place. But I'll be able to tell you. I think this is one of the best. Uh, this is one of the best air filters on the market. Who sells that one? I do. No name. And what it does is it has low static pressure and it cleans the air. And you'll see the particle come after he finishes. The air right now is, you know, the air this last week has been so bad in Houston. Really? Like a million particles per cubic foot. Look, 0 0.12. 0 0.12. Sweet. <laughs> Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 836. Yeah. Just like you asked for. All right? Don't lose that. Yeah, but watch this. We'll see Is it ready? Is it ready? Yeah, it's ready. Okay, watch. Ready. Look at the particle count. All right. We're starting at 4,000. This, this, this air is dirty, we're breathing. We don't even see it. Yeah, because you, know, you got all the traffic on the freeway and everything. Now watch this. I'd like I to duck it into the warehouse and see how bad the air is out there, which oh is horrible. Man. But anyway, watch it as the particle count comes down. 3,800. I need to get a video on that. No, static's not perfect this time. It must be maybe in thicker minutes to settle out. Or one of these things might have dropped again. 37. So anyway, Pretty we're down close. to 37. And it'll keep going down. And as all the air recycles, recirculates through it, the air gets cleaner and cleaner and cleaner every 10 minutes. And it's coming down. And it'll keep coming down. Damn, look at that. All right, I hear you back to the folks. Ain't that neat? That's awesome. So now, I'll sell you a filter. And not only that, but I can take that dirty filter and stick it in here and tell you when to change it out. Yeah. Based on static pressure and energy cost. Neat. It's managing air, just like they're managing temperature and humidity. Awesome. Yeah, it really is. This is indoor air quality. This is the real McCoy. I'm really proud of myself on this. <laughs> I designed air filters 25 years ago. Oh, really? But this, this is this. I think is an engineering. I had this, uh, I talked to Dwyer to make a magnet helix for me so that 
based on the constant airflow or whatever their system is, they can decide whether they want to take it up 300, 350, or 400 watts of power consumption. Now this is ECM. So a PSC motor is three. Larry, that ECM motor is only three times more efficient than a PSC motor. Three times. Now, because 115 volt, third horsepower, 6.4 amps, which is um, times 120 volts, 700 watts. Uh, we're, it's like two or three hundred. So it's only like three times. So in other words, uh, at, at 300, if you design the ductwork well, we were running the system at 430 feet per minute. Now we're running the system at 300 feet per minute. So the power is, instead of 300 watts, it's now down to 150 watts. So if you can get the return air the right size and the ductwork right, you save the customer a lot of money. If you run it under a higher, if you undersize everything, it costs more money. That's great. Yeah. It's Good airflow. Stuff. It's it's basic airflow. Awesome. Isn't that neat? So we were down to what, 3,500? Mm -hmm. Now watch. It'll go back up. Neat. Okay.